In the darkest depths of the ocean, where light struggles to penetrate, lies a world filled with mystery, wonder, and unimaginable treasures. From long-lost treasures that defy time itself to the hidden crevices of unexplored shipwrecks, the ocean's depths hold secrets that will leave you breathless. Join us on this captivating expedition as we unveil the 20 strangest things found by deep-sea divers. Number 20. Underwater River in Mexico In Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, there is a fascinating underground river called Cenote Angelita Grotto. This natural wonder is created by hydrogen sulfide. Because freshwater is heavier than salt water, it sinks to the bottom of the river, forming a separate layer. This unique feature makes it an actual underwater river with distinct layers of fresh and salty water. The Cenote Angelita River can descend more than 100 meters. The weight of the water causes leaves and branches of nearby trees to float only along the riverbanks, adding to its beauty. The term Doline Karst refers to a sinkhole phenomenon found worldwide, particularly in Central America. Cenote is the name given to a cave with fresh water. The Mayans, who were highly religious, used cenotes for their religious ceremonies, including human sacrifices. Accessing this cave is not easy. The water is initially clear for the first 20 meters, but it becomes increasingly murky as you go deeper. The cave dive reaches depths of up to 55 meters below the surface, so only experienced divers should attempt it. Number 19. The Titanic on the night of April 14, 1912, the RMS Titanic was sailing through the cold waters of the North Atlantic Ocean. At that time, it was the largest moving thing created by humans. The ship had over 2,200 passengers who were unaware of the danger awaiting them. Less than a week before, the luxurious steamship had departed from Southampton, England, heading for New York City. Passengers were excited about the journey because the Titanic's first-class section was very fancy. It offered amenities like a heated pool, squash courts, and gourmet meals. There was even a special daily newspaper on the ship. However, the Titanic was built in an unsafe manner. Some people believed that many of the bolts holding the ship together were weak. The ship's bottom was not designed to handle major floods, and it had only 20 lifeboats, which were not enough for everyone on board. Four days after setting sail, the Titanic collided with an iceberg. The iceberg created a 300-foot hole in the ship's hull, causing it to flood. People rushed to get into the lifeboats, but there were not enough for everyone. Approximately 700 people survived, but the ship sank in less than three hours, taking many more lives. Scientists and historians have studied the Titanic to understand why it sank. They believe that design flaws were the main reasons for the disaster. The shipwreck was finally rediscovered in the 1980s, and research has continued since then. Number 18. Vampire Squid In the midst of an already strange scenario, nature decided to add a touch of excitement by introducing a vampire squid, making things even more bizarre. This peculiar creature, known scientifically as Vampire Otheus Infernals or the Vampire Squid from Hell, is like a fascinating blend of a squid and an octopus, but don't be deceived by its vampire-like appearance, complete with red eyes and dark webbing resembling a cloak. Despite its eerie look, this creature doesn't actually go around sucking blood. Instead, it has a taste for deceased animals feasting on the remains of the ocean's fallen. One captivating feature of this mysterious creature is the presence of photophores, which are light-producing organs scattered all over its body. Imagine the vampire squid illuminating like a magnificent Christmas tree, emanating a soft, ethereal glow in the depths of the ocean. It's a sight to behold. Adding to its already intriguing arsenal, the vampire squid possesses a unique defense mechanism. When feeling threatened or under attack, it has the astonishing ability to release a cloud of bioluminescent mucus. Yes, you read that correctly. This creature can expel a luminous, gooey substance, creating a mesmerizing yet somewhat repulsive spectacle. It's a survival tactic that leaves both onlookers fascinated and slightly disgusted at the same time. Number 17. The Ghost Fleet of Truck Lagoon The United States initiated Operation Hailstone, which involved an attack on Truck Lagoon during World War II. The combat in Truck Lagoon lasted for 36 hours. In this conflict, the Japanese Navy ships that were anchored there were either sunk 
or destroyed. The number of Japanese ships sunk was so high that they earned the nickname the Ghost Fleet due to the fate of their men. Nowadays, visitors can explore the sunken ships of the Ghost Fleet in Truck Lagoon, Micronesia. The Japanese forces were warned in advance about the upcoming U.S.-led attack, likely through leaked information. In response, they withdrew most of their larger battleships from Truck Lagoon, including their massive aircraft carriers. By February 1944, when the Japanese finally completely withdrew, a total of 53 ships had already been lost. These losses included 32 commercial ships, 12 smaller Japanese cruisers and destroyers, and support ships. Truck Lagoon is considered one of the world's top historical dive destinations due to the abundance of Japanese airplanes, battle tanks, and other relics from World War II. Additionally, the wrecks of Japanese Navy ships make it a fascinating yet eerie place to explore. Number 16. The Lost City of Heracleion Several ancient inscriptions and books from 25 centuries ago confirm that the city of Tonus Heraklion remained hidden for thousands of years under the water. Frank Gaudio, a French archaeologist, and his team dedicated years to exploring the depths of Abukir Bay, located off the coast of Egypt. Eventually, they spotted a massive face emerging from the murky shadows, which led to the discovery of Tonus Heraklion, an ancient city submerged 6.5 kilometers off the coast of Alexandria. Within the city, they found various artifacts and ruins, including modest sarcophagi used for animal sacrifices, the remains of a massive temple dedicated to the deity Amungareb, 64 ships, 700 anchors, a treasure trove of gold coins, and 16-foot-tall sculptures. Despite being underwater for 2,300 years, the artifacts and ruins made of granite and diorite have survived remarkably intact. This discovery provides us with a glimpse into the life of one of the world's major port cities, Taunus Heraklion. The city, known by its Egyptian and Greek names, served as the entry point for all ships entering Egypt. It was designed like an Egyptian version of Venice, with canals connecting small islands that housed sanctuaries and homes clustered around the central temple. The reasons behind the city's submersion and its history have been largely forgotten, leaving us with a mystery to unravel. Number 15. SS Thistlegorm The SS Thistlegorm, a cargo steamship built in northeast England in 1940, met a tragic fate in 1941 when it was sunk by German bomber planes in the Red Sea. Nowadays, the shipwreck is a popular diving site near Ras Mohammed, known for its breathtaking underwater life. Fascinating creatures such as batfish and turtles have made the wreck their home, and divers can regularly spot barracudas, snappers, and schools of jacks. Many divers consider the SS Thistlegorm wreck to be one of the world's finest diving locations. Situated in the Strait of Gubel, north of the Red Sea, the ship sank during a German attack in 1941, resulting in the loss of various artifacts like locomotives, tanks, army trucks, and jeeps. Exploring the entire wreck requires multiple dives, with the deepest part being the propellers, located around 32 meters below the surface, and the shallowest section at approximately 16 meters deep. In September 1941, the SS Thistlegorm was on its way to Egypt, delivering crucial war supplies to the British 8th Army in North Africa. However, due to the control of German and Italian forces in the Mediterranean, the ship had to take a lengthy detour of about 12,000 miles, circumnavigating South Africa to reach the Suez. Sadly, the spot where it sank in the Red Sea now serves as a resting place for the ship, acting as a maritime tomb. Number 14 black smokestacks. Deep beneath the ocean's surface near the captivating Galapagos Islands lies a mysterious structure that holds a legendary status in the world of oceanography. This structure, shaped like a beehive, houses a breathtaking site known as black smokers, enormous hydrothermal vents that were initially discovered in 1976. When you venture inside, you'll witness a scene straight out of a mythical tale, as dark plumes of smoke rise from these vents and mingle with the surrounding water. These black smokers are no ordinary chimneys. They are extraordinary conduits responsible for maintaining our planet's delicate ecosystem. Deep within the earth, they extract precious natural resources and transport them to the ocean floor. Imagine scorching hot water, akin to that of a raging inferno, 
meeting the frigid ocean waters, creating billows of smoke that resemble underwater clouds. The temperature of this scalding water can reach an astounding 752 Fahrenheit. Within this otherworldly environment, a remarkable array of marine life thrives, defying the odds. Resilient creatures such as aquatic snails, shrimp, and colossal tube worms have adapted to survive in this harsh habitat. Their secret lies in their symbiotic relationship with bacteria, which rely on the minerals present in the water from the smoke-filled clouds. Number 13. Golden Shipwreck Recently, near a famous old Spanish galleon, two undiscovered shipwrecks were found. These wrecks were filled with gold valued at $17 billion. The British are grateful for the discovery of the three-masted galley in San Jose, which sank in 1708 during the War of Spanish Succession. The ship, equipped with 62 guns and three masts, was located in 2015. The treasure inside, including gold and other valuable items, is worth billions of dollars. A video received by the Colombian government depicts advanced equipment being lowered to the seabed, revealing a visible cannon. Numerous clay pots and various artifacts can be found scattered across the beach. Although marine life is attempting to reclaim the area, one of the ship's bows remains in excellent condition. Images captured by a remote-controlled vehicle show the ship resting on the seabed, yet to be fully covered by sand. Closer examination reveals a wealth of artifacts such as teacups and other objects near the cannons, awaiting further study. Alongside the galleon's cannons, additional artifacts discovered at the San Jose shipwreck include handmade coins called Mako Kinas, a gold ingot, and the crew's weapons. Number 12. The Anti-Kythera Mechanism In the 19th and early 20th centuries, an archaeologist was excavating the remains of a ship that had sunk near the coast of the Greek island of Antikythera. The shipwreck, dating back 2,000 years, yielded various valuable items such as vases, pots, diamonds, and even a bronze figure of an ancient philosopher. However, among these treasures, an intriguing discovery was made. A peculiar contraption made of brass gears and dials, housed in a cabinet the size of a mantel clock. This mechanism, referred to as the Antikythera mechanism by archaeologists, now lies in a dilapidated state with rusty brass gears stacked neatly within two decaying wooden cases. Close examination reveals the presence of at least two dozen precisely aligned gears displaying a level of craftsmanship akin to that of Swiss watches. Yet the purpose of this device remained a perplexing question. Initially, experts believed the mechanism to be either a clock, a calendar, or a mathematical tool. However, they were uncertain which one it truly was. For decades, scientists debated whether the Antikythera mechanism might have served as a miniature representation of the solar system or even an early form of an astrolabe. The latter technology was not known until the 17th century, so it was puzzling to contemplate how the ancient Greeks could have possessed such knowledge. The true nature of the device remains a genuine enigma. A number 11, Yonaguni Monument. Approximately 25 meters beneath the surface of the water in the seas of Japan, there is an intriguing rock formation known as the Yonaguni Monument. Its origins remain a mystery as no one knows who constructed it or when it was built. Nonetheless, the site is open for exploration, especially for those who possess the necessary skills. The Yonaguni Monument is situated between the Kamchatka Peninsula and the Chinese island of Taiwan, around 4,000 kilometers away. It is part of the Japanese archipelago, specifically Yonaguni Island, which is located in the southwestern region of Japan, roughly 100 kilometers from Taiwan. Despite being a small island with a population of only around 1,700 individuals, Yonaguni Island is famous for its hammerhead sharks. The discovery of the Yonaguni Monument occurred in 1986 when the local tourist board was searching for hammerhead sharks but stumbled upon the monument instead. Japan is known for its high seismic activity due to the movement of tectonic plates, particularly the Pacific and Philippine plates meeting in close proximity. This region hosts 10 of the world's active volcanoes and experiences frequent earthquakes. The sandstone rock layer covering Yonaguni Island has been significantly fractured by these seismic events. A person working for a tourist company dived into the water and encountered this structure. 
Upon resurfacing, they reported their discovery, describing it as an underwater castle potentially crafted by ancient humans. Number 10. The Lost City of Dwarka The ancient kingdom of Krishna Dwarika was located in what is now Dwarka in northwest India. Legend has it that the deity Krishna established his kingdom in this lost city and ruled over it. Dwarka was not just an ordinary city, it was a thriving port city filled with trade and prosperity. However, over time the city mysteriously sank under the sea, becoming lost to history. What makes this even more fascinating is that it could potentially be one of the oldest civilizations ever known. Archaeologists have found ancient walls and artifacts that date back an astonishing 32,000 years, suggesting a civilization that predates recorded history. While historical records trace the city back to 574 AD, discoveries from the 20th century imply that it could have existed as early as 1500 BC. The thought of the ancient structures and sculptures that adorned the city during those times is incredible. Thanks to modern technology, we have captivating pictures and videos showcasing the remains of this lost city. Walking through the streets of Dwarka evokes a mix of awe and eeriness. The stone streets and buildings, despite being worn and submerged underwater, still possess a grandeur that leaves us in awe of the city's former glory. Number 9. Pavlo Petri Pavlo Petri is a very old underwater city located off the coast of Laconia in the Greek region of Peloponnese. It is approximately 5,000 years old, which makes it one of the oldest lost cities in the Mediterranean. What makes Pavlo Petri unique is that it resembles a complete town with streets, houses, and tombs. It is situated between the islet of Pavlo Petri and the coastal area of Laconia. The city was discovered in 1967 by Nicholas Fleming and a team of archaeologists from Cambridge who studied it in 1968. Initially, the ruins were believed to be from the Mycenaean period, which lasted from 1006 to 1100 BCE. However, further research revealed that people lived there as early as 2800 BCE, including materials from the Early Bronze Age, Middle Minoan, and Transitional periods. The first of three earthquakes, occurring around 1000 BCE, is believed to have caused the city to sink. The area never experienced subsequent development or agricultural activity. Although the city has deteriorated over time, its overall appearance hasn't changed much. Unfortunately, the monument is at risk due to boats dragging their anchors over it and the presence of tourists and individuals attempting to steal souvenirs from the site. Number 8. Train Graveyard off the coast of Long Branch, New Jersey, there is a mysterious wreck that even historians and train enthusiasts don't fully understand. At a depth of 90 feet in the sea, two steam locomotives were discovered. These locomotives had been resting there for almost a century when divers first stumbled upon this unusual train wreck in the Atlantic. The divers had no idea where it came from or how it ended up at the bottom of the sea. In 1985, Paul Helper was using a magnetometer to examine the ocean floor when he received two significant signals. It became evident that he had found something massive and made of metal. However, it was clear that this was not a typical shipwreck site. Instead, there were two locomotives proudly sitting in the muddy depths. Railroad enthusiasts soon began scrutinizing photographs, counting wheels, and studying the remains of the smokestacks. These details held important clues about the history of these trains. Due to their smaller size, the carriages at this underwater railway disaster site were identified as Class 222T locomotives, a rare type primarily used in train yards rather than for transportation. Nevertheless, nobody could determine how they ended up there. It remains a mystery whether they were lost at sea or if a ship carrying the locomotives went missing. Many believe that the engines may have fallen or been swept overboard during a storm while being transported from Boston to New York. The reason why the crew didn't report the disappearance of the two steam locomotives upon reaching the port remains unknown. Perhaps it was simply a major oversight, and they hoped nobody would notice. Number 7. The Bimini Road Around 11,000 years ago, the island nation of Atlantis sank beneath the waves and disappeared forever, according to the popular story. Since then, researchers, explorers, and philosophers have searched the ocean floor without success hoping to find remnants of the ancient civilization. 
Some have even suggested a connection to the Bermuda Triangle. In 1968, a scuba diver discovered several rocks off the north shore of North Bimini Island in the Bahamas. These rocks, stretching for about half a mile, appeared to have been placed by humans and showed clear signs of order and balance. People speculated that they might have been part of a wall or road linking to a larger metropolis. Two other roads with similar features were also found, further fueling speculation of an Atlantis connection. However, carbon dating and closer examination revealed that the roadways were actually formed by natural geological forces, which was quite disappointing. There was no evidence of tools or signs that the blocks were ever part of a structure. Presently, there are still some investigations and conjectures about Bimini, but most people believe that the limestone blocks were simply shaped by erosion. As a result, our understanding of Atlantis, whether it truly existed, where it might have been, and what happened to it, remains elusive. Number 6. Atlet Yam Imagine diving into the depths of the sea and discovering an ancient city hidden beneath the waves. That's exactly what awaits adventurous tourists who explore the world's oldest flooded towns. One such captivating destination is Atlet Yam, located along the shores of Haifa. The ruins of this ancient town, dating back a staggering 9,000 years, have become a magnet for curious travelers. Atlet Yam flourished as a bustling and prosperous community. But as time passed, nature had a different plan. The coastline of Haifa possesses a remarkable sandy seabed, which played a vital role in preserving the submerged structures. It's like stepping into a time capsule, witnessing the remains of an entire civilization frozen in time beneath the waves. Archaeologists have made astonishing discoveries within the submerged city. One notable find was an incredibly well-preserved ancient cemetery. Delicate insects, trapped in building materials for thousands of years, have provided invaluable insights into the past. It's like peering through a window into the lives and habits of people who lived in this underwater world so long ago. Unraveling the mystery of Atlet Yam's submergence remains a captivating puzzle for researchers. Many experts theorize that the gradual melting of glaciers and rising sea levels caused the once thriving settlement to sink beneath the waves. However, another intriguing proposal suggests that a colossal tsunami may have been responsible for the inundation. As the submerged site was only discovered in 1984, ongoing research is still in its early stages, and experts eagerly await further significant discoveries. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. In the world of the supernatural, Charles Berlitz, the talented grandson of the founder of famous language schools, wrote captivating books. In the 1970s, he claimed that a legendary continent called Atlantis once existed near the Bahamas. He believed Atlantis met its end in the Bermuda Triangle, a mysterious area where ships and planes have disappeared. Berlitz suggested that Atlantis, with all its wonders, lies hidden beneath the ocean in this region. Many people found this idea fascinating. Supporters of the Atlantis theory point to evidence like man-made walls and streets near Bimini, suggesting an ancient civilization. These findings have interested those who want to solve the Atlantis mystery. However, skeptics argue that these structures are just natural rocks on the beach, denying the existence of an ancient lost city. Despite the disagreement, the allure of Atlantis persists, attracting enthusiasts who advocate for further exploration of the Bermuda Triangle. Their belief in this extraordinary civilization remains strong, fueled by the mystery and allure of Atlantis. Now let's discuss your thoughts on this captivating topic. Can Atlantis truly be found in the depths of the Bermuda Triangle? What could cause the strange events in that area? Share your opinions and theories in the comments below. Number 5. Qiandao Lake in China a city that was constructed around 1,300 years ago now lies submerged underwater at a depth of 26 to 40 meters. In 1959, the city and its surrounding valley were intentionally flooded to create a man-made lake and hydroelectric power plant. Surprisingly, the city remains largely unchanged, with its houses, walls, and woodwork preserved. Currently, a film crew is documenting the old city, and archaeologists are amazed at how well it has remained intact. However, there are no diving opportunities for tourists at present. It is hoped that the area will be open to the public in the future. Meanwhile, the man-made Kayan Dao Lake, 
also known as Thousand Island Lake, is a popular destination for both tourists and locals, boasting beautiful hills. The government's decision to flood Lion City led to the displacement of approximately 300,000 people to make way for the hydropower project. Lion City was once considered one of China's most significant ancient cities that still stood, featuring stone buildings dating back to the Ming and Qing dynasties. The inhabitants of that time could never have imagined the fate that awaited their beloved city. Number 4. Lake Neuchâtel Shark Statue Hidden deep within the serene waters of Lake Neuchâtel in Switzerland lies a statue that sends shivers down the spine of anyone who discovers it. Among several statues, there is one that stands out as particularly eerie, a shark statue lurking beneath the lake's surface. Imagine the chilling sensation of unexpectedly coming face to face with this aquatic predator while swimming or diving. The origins of the shark statue remain a tantalizing mystery. Although it rests at the bottom of the lake, its journey to that spot is veiled in intrigue. Delving into the depths of online communities, inquisitive Reddit users have uncovered intriguing clues about its creation. It turns out that this menacing masterpiece was originally crafted as a prop for a movie called Chocolat by a group known as La Janasse de la Côte. Around 176 children and several adults joined forces to bring this movie to life, each contributing their creative talents to the production. Little did they know that their collaborative effort would birth a statue that would instill an undeniable sense of unease in all who encounter it. The mere appearance of the shark statue possesses an inexplicable creepiness that defies logic. It serves as a testament to the power of art to evoke emotions, even when we know deep down that it is merely an inanimate object. Perhaps it is the lifelike design, the sinister aura it emanates, or the mystery surrounding its existence that sends a chill down the spine. Whether you stumble upon it unexpectedly or seek it out deliberately, the encounter with this enigmatic shark statue is bound to leave an indelible mark on your memories. Number three, the SS Gersopa. The SS Gersopa, a British merchant ship, had a terribly unlucky fate in 1941 during World War II. It was traveling from India to Britain with a valuable load of silver, pig iron, and tea when it was attacked by a German U-boat and hit by a torpedo. Sadly, the ship sank deep into the Atlantic Ocean, around 300 miles off the coast of Ireland. Among the 86 crew members, only one miraculously survived while the valuable cargo went down with the ship. However, after a wait of 70 years, in 2011, the wreck of the SS Gersapa was finally discovered by Odyssey Marine Exploration, a company specialized in exploring deep-sea shipwrecks. What made this discovery remarkable was the incredible depth at which the shipwreck was found, almost 15,000 feet below the ocean's surface. It is one of the deepest shipwrecks ever found, this significant discovery paved the way for an extraordinary and historic event, the recovery of the SS Gersapa's treasure. Over several years, Odyssey Marine Exploration undertook multiple missions to salvage the sunken ship's valuable cargo. Their tireless efforts paid off tremendously as they successfully retrieved over 110 tons of silver, worth an astonishing value of over $200 million. Number 2. Silfra Crack Silfra is a gap located in Thingvellir National Park, Iceland, which separates the North American plate from the Eurasian plate. This rift, along with the earthquakes that occur there, dates back to 1789 when the tectonic plates began to move apart. It offers a unique opportunity for snorkeling and scuba diving near the point where the two continents are drifting apart. Currently, the gap is widening at a rate of approximately 2 centimeters per year. Divers can enter a fissure in the tectonic plates at Silfra, an experience that is exclusive to this location on Earth. The 1789 earthquakes in Thingvellir resulted in the formation of numerous fissures, but the Silfra fissure is distinct. It is connected to an underground spring that is fed by water from the nearby Langjokul Glacier. It takes several decades for the water to permeate through porous lava beneath the surface and reach the spring that supplies it. The water in Silfra is exceptionally clear, even at depths exceeding 100 meters, thanks to the constant flow of fresh water. The meltwater from the glacier remains unfrozen, making the water in Silfra incredibly pure. 
This purity is unparalleled and cannot be found elsewhere. Number 1. Molinere Underwater Sculpture Park The British artist Jason de Carres Taylor created the Molinere Bay Underwater Sculpture Park. It is a collection of modern art displayed underwater off the west coast of Granada in the West Indies. The park, which opened to the public in May 2006, was the first of its kind in the world. Taylor's sculptures, made from life casts of local people, aim to educate the community about the underwater environment. These concrete sculptures were placed on the ocean floor, mostly facing the ocean currents. The designs varied from individuals to a circle of children holding hands. The sculpture park has been beneficial for the environment as it attracts tourists and reduces pressure on the coral reefs. It is located on the sandy ocean bottom of the isolated Molinere Bay. The park features over 65 different concrete sculptures, covering an area of more than 800 square meters and weighing approximately 15 tons. However, in water, the sculptures do not weigh as much as 15 tons. Which of these discoveries do you find the strangest? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.